Hey guys, welcome back. This is another Android Launchers review. And this week I tried some new launchers as usual practice. I just used to type launcher on the Play Store and I used to look which launcher has grown up on the rating, which is new. You can easily come to I have reviewed most of the launchers here. And this will be my 21st launcher today. So I came across a new launcher which is called the Blackberry Launcher. So I just installed that one here. I'm using this for more than a day now. And here's what it looks like the first time when you install the launcher. So I haven't changed much of the thing except few of the apps that have been installed that it came from the shortcuts. On the first start screen you will get this feature here. This is what you get here. And you will get the optional things to install. Getting inside this, this you will get this wallpaper widgets, icon packs and settings. When you get the settings you will get this all the features. This is the have the pop-up features feature. I will show that in a couple of minutes here and this pop-up in front of icon packs you can choose that here and also you can install the lot of blackberry hub plus apps so there are more than eight apps right now just for trying i installed most of them just to see which apps does what getting inside the app drawer you can see it is the app save section widget section shortcut so this is very nice here actually you can create a quick shortcut to a single contact even itself you want to call that just given an example i have created my whatsapp shortcut directly i can just simply click here to one of my contact and i can send this message here all you need to do just get inside the shortcut here and you can see for the communication calendar contacts phone media device you can create a lot of them for here so whichever you want you can create but not all the shortcuts possible to create here and also going further inside here you will get this wallpapers here nice set of wallpapers here actually there are all material design concepts not rather well. so that is optional you can take from anywhere else this is why you'll get by default the blackberry brief wallpaper also there's a good functionality is that there's a new option here which calls how do you sort the app drawer first is the default show the recent app that you use and also this is alphabetical sorting you can click here by alphabetical it changed exactly so this is i really like this feature here this is the newest this is the default and the best thing is that I like about that uh, they're not really uh, you know uh, wasting the space you can see it's filling the complete space and icons are not that too big too and not that too small too it looks very nice here as you can see you can search apps from here itself so this is also nicely layout now I will show how this uh, pop-up widgets work on so if you just go and search on any place here for example this is my google keep if you just swipe up here you'll get these features here this is not a permanent if you just close here it close so this is one of the nice feature it will save your space to on a single as you can see here i just created a new google feature this is standard when you create in any launcher here but you can exactly save a lot of space if you want to also not all the apps are supporting this feature so you need to check it out which app is supporting or not you can also change the icon packs here and you will get by default which comes with the system so i have taken the by default the marshmallow here but you can browse some more also so a couple of the features that you should be uh, finding this launcher is helpful is the pop-up widgets one touch uh, shortcut which you want and the excellent app drawer which many features like according to the way you want to sort uh, this is the classical here you know just uh, starting from a and going to the uh, setting wise we are already discussing so that's uh, a quick look on the launcher guys and if you personally ask with me uh, it's fine with me uh, actually this is recommended for the people who like a very quick shortcut as you can see uh, who, who are depending a lot of widgets here and they don't want to waste their home pages so they can simply use this uh, pop-up widgets feature and can work with that or they want to direct contact uh, one click shortcut for the context and call feature definitely they can use that as you can see and also comparing to the launchers this launcher doesn't give you much personalization features like you know changing the app drawer layout changing desktop changing top layout unlike you will get in this change ui on the launcher and launcher prime so this is feature is not there so i said here this is for fast productivity launchers here so like this blackberry they make the productive suit and talking about the apps that you will get with this uh, launcher here if you install it this is not uh, mandatory that you install all the features blackberry hub plus here so these uh, features are very nice here good good features are there already have shown you blackberry hub calendar and password so definitely in case you are such a business professional who want to keep a lot of passwords here and you want to have organized blackberry contact definitely you can try that out otherwise your google calendar is fine there's no need to switch to blackberry calendar so in short uh, you can try that out uh, if you want really depending on the blackberry hub plus services app if you are using definitely blackberry launcher is for you otherwise in case you are not using so this is just for fun and memory wise is fine so you can see blackberry launcher is not taking lot of ram here but 
Navi Wireless is fine. It's just taking two hundred above of Navi. In case your phone has good specs, which takes uh, at least two gigabytes or four gigabytes of RAM, then you should not be worrying about that. Otherwise, if your phone is one gigabytes of RAM, definitely it's a concern. Which you should not be trying that out. Battery wise, is fine. It's much optimized here. It's not taking much battery here. So that's it, guys. A quick review for the BlackBerry launcher for the Android. So let me know in the comments whether you're going to try that out or not. So I'm been running for a few days now. I will use for one or more two days. So definitely we will. I will switch to some new launcher as usual. Work processing. I need to find out new launchers for you guys here. So this is Sara. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next video.